Welcome to uh, part 77 of the Male Hunter Baby Challenge, season 2. In this episode, Vartan791, Moss, and S'more age up. Stan also works on skills in between uh, birthday parties and such, so there's that. I also want to say that uh, I was working on the... F the fourth generation of uh, the Hunter Baby Challenge with Stanley Tweedle, and um, I, f I also was watching something. Uh, I, f I saw somebody build a gingerbread house. Okay, so there will be a gingerbread wax, but there's a problem with that. You won't see it until October. <laughs> yeah, you won't see it until October. I mean, it's already ready and edited, but. You won't see it until October. I mean, according to my upload schedule, you won't see it until October. So, at least it's the, you'll see it eventually. But, anyways, I have a problem. <laughs> I have a very big problem in my um, Sims game, my uh, Hunter Baby Challenge. Um, the thing about spellcasters. Um, his current girlfriend, his third girlfriend, and the fourth generation, Stan's third girlfriend is a spellcaster. All, all the, the, the fourth generation mermaid Stan gets with 13 spellcasters. And either you get a mermaid sim or a spellcaster sim. It doesn't matter. Anyways, something screwed up. Stan is only his sixth child in. And his girlfriend made a potion to want him to live forever. There's like a, a mortal potion. Uh, apparently it all went wrong. Stan drunk it. And now he's dead. Okay, he's a ghost in my household. I'm like, oh crap, no. I could cheat, but here's the thing about this. Usually in a 100 baby challenge... If your sim dies, the next generation has to carry... The, the last person born has to carry out the generation. Which is let. If you remember rightly, if you watch the episode Brigadoom in Season 2, Let was one of the Brunin G's, one of Kai's friends. So... Yeah, and he's also a mermaid. Which is fine. He can get... I can age him up and have him carry out the challenge. But Stan is dead. It was an accident. I didn't mean to kill him. But I can't cheat this. Also, MC Command Center hasn't updated their mod to the latest game pack to Realm of Magic. So when he died, like I said, when he died, MC Command Center, the way he died, MC Command Center, without the Realm of Magic update, doesn't recognize his death. Like, oh crap, I can't bring him back off screen. Because I killed him off screen by accident, and I can't bring him back. And I'm not doing ambrosia. But here's the thing. I can't cheat. I, I, I cheat enough as it is. But this, th th this is way beyond cheating here. If I continue with Stan as the matriarch. <laughs> but he's dead. He's a ghost. I didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> The youngest male in the household is flat. Um, and he's a he's technically a Brunin G character from Brig from the episode Brigadoom season two. He's the one singing with Koo that that doll 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 song. That's who that is. He doesn't t have the type of hair that, that Kai has. He has a, he his is more, his is more up in a bun than Kai. You know what? I'll figure it out. I, let. This is gonna take me back to Kai. Uh, that, I guess that my game is trying to tell me something like um, going back to Kai, bringing back the Brunin and G's, <laughs> repopulating the planet with Brunin and G's. Uh. But Let isn't technically a Brunin G. He's from Astral B. Because his father is. 
was great, great, great mother is. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, as more as I'm, much as I want to talk about the current video I'm do, currently doing commentary on, I just want to talk about the fact that I'm not even ten episodes in. I'm only six kid children in to the fourth generation of Stanley Tweedle, and Stan accidentally dies. Her experimental potion gone wrong. Oh, man. This is going to suck big time. <laughs> I don't know if I should wait until there's a new new update for the MC Command Center for the latest pack. Or just continue and not cheat at all. <laughs> just continue with let. Oh, gosh. Let, okay? He's a... Br He's technically supposed to be Brennan G from one of Kai's friends from Brigadoom. Oh, man. Oh. The one, one of his friends that helped him in battle against the foreshadow. Oh, my gosh. This is going to... I have to dress him up as a Brennan G. I got to get a new thumbnail. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be fun. I accidentally killed Stan. Three gener... Six kids in, okay? Well, he's only six kids in and he dies. Well, I can still use the rest of the, the girlfriends. The remaining girlfriends. I can still use them. And Let is a mermaid, so... It kind of works out. Since this is like a mermaid with... So and and a spellcaster hybrid or something? I don't know. I mean, it'll have to do. I mean, I accidentally killed Stan. <laughs> Bye, Stan! I'm going to miss you. I'm sorry. This is, the, this is the end of the Stanley Tweedle <laughs> challenge. Oh, this is going to suck. But Let has to carry on to 100 babies. So that leaves 19 more kids. So there's that. Oh, just an update. I fast forward a little bit. We and it turns out Stanley isn't dead dead. <laughs> it was the effect of the, po of the potion that went wrong. But the effects wore off and Stanley is back to normal. No, I didn't cheat. <laughs> I didn't have to. So this was good. I was ready to move him out and continue with his youngest son, Let. Oh my gosh. Good thing I didn't. <sighs> it turns out the effects of the potion wore off and Stanley is back to normal. No cheating required. So we're at a birthday party, I see. You know, while I was doing the first seven minutes and some, like, almost eight minute commentary, I was doing it without looking at my video. If I had something to say, I had something to say. But I did it without looking at my video. And I also did it at different parts. I kept adding some to my commentary without even watching my video, because... I pre-record everything, and I go back and add commentary later. So, uh, the first eight-minute commentary was of this video. I wasn't doing it without looking at the video. <laughs> so, yeah. I did talk about where um, Stanley, you know, he's a mermaid. He's the fourth generation Stan's a mermaid, and he hooks up with, uh, with the spellcaster, and the... Uh, she make, she has a potion that grants him immortality because you can do that now with spellcasters. Use a potion, there's a potion for immortality. Immortality. They can either go right or very wrong. Apparently, when Stan drunk the potion for immortality that his current girlfriend made had with her, it turned him into a ghost. And I go into his genealogy and said he died. I'm like, oh, crap. So I waited out 24 hours in a sim day. Fast forwarded. And he's like, if he wasn't... I thought it was like a curse or something. Because sometimes... All witch stuff doesn't completely kill a sim. So I've heard. But, anyways. 24 hours went by. And he turned back to normal. Because if he didn't, I was going to have to move him out. And starting with the youngest child. But luckily it didn't happen. He turned back to normal. No cheating required. 
so that's good. <laughs> and he turned back to normal. I didn't record some, any of it, but I recorded, I didn't record him taking the immortality stuff and then turning him into a ghost. I didn't record that. But I did record him when he was a ghost for a few, for like a couple minutes. And then not record him those 24 hours before he turned back to normal. But I did record him after he turned back to normal. So, I'm just letting you know that, you know, the stuff that when I wasn't recording, I didn't cheat. I s- okay, I mean, I cheated a little bit. Here's, here's where I cheated. The spell, the spellcaster, the girlfriend. There's a way to get, have her learn all the spells, and have her learn have, learn all the potions, and then it'll all be on her in, and all the potions will be all in her inventory. And then she gave a potion to Stan, and I gave a potion to, from her to her inventory to Stanley. So, see what happens, because it works for friends, okay? When I was doing the Super Sim challenge, and he took the immortality potion. It worked on him. But when I gave the immortality potion to Stan, it turned him into a ghost. I'm like, oh crap, he's dead. No. No. He's only six kids in. No way. But he turned back to normal. I, I waited off camera for him to turn back to normal. He did. Which was good. It was it only affected him for a few hours. He's not going to do that again. <laughs> That's for sure. No more potions for Stan. <laughs> Anyways. Phil, See, here's what happened. Philip. I, I, I messed up on the name, so I gotta rename him. That's technically not supposed to be... His name is not supposed to be Philip. His name is supposed to be not Philip. Rename Sim, yes. See what happened when this it's supposed his name's supposed to be S'more? See what happened was uh you no, know, I get those notifications of other people being born in my game and I get a notification to name them. And that's what happened. I I just got, I got click happy. At least I didn't do that to Moz. But S'more, I didn't fill it because I get these notifications of other kids being born and I have to name them. And I was getting click happy. <laughs> and, and it was just a habit when his name, when that, when that came up. And it's like, oh crap, I messed up. This is not supposed to happen. But yeah. I got four children in, no, six children in the fourth generation of Stanley. I'm like, I want to take a break. I want to jump right into doing the fourth generation prince. That's what I want to get into. The fourth, I want to get into season three. And I want to do the, the sixth generation Zev, okay? I also want to do that. Frank said I should do, uh, Four more generations of Zev with all the occults. <laughs> yes. So the fifth, sixth generation Zev would be getting with aliens. But the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth generation. Let's see. All the occults. I'm writing them all down. Okay, who should aliens have? I did alien. Regular sim with alien. Got an alien stand. Aliens at. I did alien stand with a mermaid. But vampire. Because, I don't know, vampire. And eighth generation would be a vampire Zev. 
with the Z plus um I'm thinking because there's still there's still uh spellcasters, mermaids. Okay. There we go. Uh, for the third generation of the Zev Hunter Baby Challenge, uh, seventh generation Zev would be an alien. Eighth generation Zev would be a vampire. Ninth generation Zev would be a mermaid. And tenth generation would be a spellcaster. The reason I'm doing this, here's the thing. First gen when I do the... the Third season of the Male Hunter Baby Challenge with Prince. Prince is already going to be a spellcaster. So I'm going to write this down. While Stan is working on his skills. Like, there's only four cults, so <laughs> there's only so many ways I can do this. Uh, we're made prints. Okay, first generation print in the third generation, in the third season of the Male Hunter Baby Challenge, the first generation is going to be spellcaster. Prince is going to be a spellcaster, and the second generation will be a, second generation Prince will be a vampire. Third generation Prince will be a mermaid, and the fourth generation will be an alien. So. Because Prince is powerful to begin with. He was never mortal. He was always powerful. Even when he was on Earth. He, he had some power. You know what I'm saying? He had some power. He, can, he, was, he was able to brainwash a lot of people. So, there you have it. He, was, he had some power. Even on Earth. He, he, like I said, he was able to brainwash a lot. Millions of people at the same time. I mean, that's some power. Even though he felt mortal, he did, he couldn't like res resurrect himself like he did on fire. But but once he died, he was able to go anywhere he, on earth. He was able to go anywhere he wanted. He was kind of free to do whatever he wanted. He could go anywhere he wanted to go, but he ended up stuck in President Priest's pre television set. But <laughs> for it's temporary. Then, uh, but when um, Kai took the, the television set that contained Prince into the other zone to play chess in episode in episode the game. Uh. Prince was technically free. Uh, it kind of freed Prince to, to roam around the universe wherever he wanted. So there was that.
Anyway, so Prince technically had power to begin with. He was not mortal. He was not mortal to start with. So why should I start him out as a mortal? I already did that in Super Sim Challenge. You want to see Mortal Prince? You want me to start him out as a mortal? And check out the Super Sim Challenge because seriously, he, he's mortal. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get his powers back. But he does in the very end. It, it's going to be 130 episodes long. Uh, the last seven episodes will be viewed next month. So, while everybody's doing their uh, Realm of Magic gameplay, I'll be putting mine up in October. <laughs> I just wait for everybody else to get theirs done, okay? I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm competing with everybody else. That's what I do with uh, Solani when people were doing their um, Solani gameplay. I was, I was waiting because I didn't feel like I wanted to be in competition with everybody else. Maybe we set with my builds. I don't know. But I'm not really not in competition with my builds. I, everybody builds regular houses, okay? I build dragonflies. I, that's just me. I'd rather build dragonflies. Because everybody else is building regular houses. I want to do something different. <laughs> that's, that's me. I don't, that's just me. I re, it's like... I'd rather build something else. Everybody else is building houses. Every other simmer on YouTube is, is building houses. I'm building the legs. I'm building dragonfly shaped houses. That's just me. <laughs> That's me, okay? That's what I would rather do. Anyways, I'm getting hungry. It's like 7.30 at night and I'm hungry. I haven't ate anything since around 11. So it's been about 8 hours since I had anything to eat. Well, I'll get something to eat after I get commentary for this video. Because this video is going to need to go up eventually. Because I, I want to see, you know, check out my upload, re-look re at my upload schedule. I got tons of Hunter Baby Challenge videos to go up this month. I got like three days worth of pet video, random pet genetic videos, and one day worth of uh, Hungry Dragon gameplay to put up, but the rest is Hunter Baby Challenge. So, when you s don't see many Hungry Dragon videos, this is to all my Hungry Dragon fans. There will be some next month too. <laughs> it's just that I put up an upload schedule. Okay. And I write down what I already have recorded at that time. And I filled up the whole month of September. And now I got tons of Hungry Dragon gameplay. You'll see next month. There will be in three more videos of Hungry Dragon be put up this month. There'll be three more. My Hungry Shark videos that I planned on putting up this month are already up. I won't see any more until October. For my Hungry Shark fans. I'm not going to put anything up until October. Because I'm done putting up Hungry Shark videos this month. I filled up my whole thing with 100 Baby Challenge videos. My whole month of September with 100 Baby Challenge videos. And my whole random pet genetics challenge. I want to get that done. I'm, I'm going to be putting those up this... Finishing that this ser that series up this month. And they will be up this month. Um, uh, Pretty much it. Rags of Riches. That's going up next month. That's some of some my Solani gameplay. Okay. I did a little bit of Solana gameplay in my Super Sim Challenge, like three videos worth. Part 121, 122, 123 were Solani. And 124 through 130 takes place in Glimmerbrook. Mostly in Glimmerbrook, but at the end he goes back to Solani to his family. He moves to Glimmerbrook to do his to, to do his the two aspirations that came with the the, the, the Realm Magic. 
But then he goes back, after he finishes, he does go back to Solani with his family. Anyways, we're at the end of this video. So stay tuned for part one, 180. <laughs> part 78.